hello welcome again so this is a problem on a simple harmonic motion with the letters are a bit small I'll draw a bigger diagram try to read this a small block a of mass small m is placed symmetrically over a rectangular block a big block capital B so this is the big block uh, B it is scraped on smooth horizontal surface and I draw this line of symmetry dotted line through this center of mass now there is another block on top of it which is named at block A and block A has mass small m while block B has mass 2m another apart from this you have uh, these two ends and uh, this springs are attached the springs are attached a force constant of it each spring is k where k is equal to is given uh, 2mg divided by b now uh, block a is made, made to perform simple harmonic motion over block b block b does not topple so then prove the time period of oscillation is so and so so there is no toppling and the ground is smooth remember that that the ground is uh, uh, smooth so it will be a reduced mass system I mean if uh, both will oscillate simultaneously so prove that the oscillation is 2 pi root b by 6 g so here we know that if uh, the block a suppose the block a moves uh, uh, here by x1 then block B will move here by x2 and so that you know the uh, center of mass is fixed so in that way so m x1 is equal to 2m times x2 it happens same with the speeds suppose this has speed v1 and say so this has a uh, speed v2 so it's same uh, so from here x1 is equal to 2x2 same uh, ratio for the speeds so v1 is equal to 2v2 okay so here we can write the work energy equation here right so total energy of the system is equal to half m times uh, x1 dot square m times x1 dot square plus half 2m times x2 dot square this is for the kinetic energy plus for the potential energy is half uh, k into x1 plus x2 square that is for the potential energy okay so now uh, we can substitute see uh, v1 means x2 dot right so we can substitute here e is equal to half m x1 dot square plus half uh, 2m so x2 dot is uh, this x1 see from the velocities you know x1 dot is 2 times x2 dot so x2 dot is uh, half of x1 dot so it gets squared up so one, uh, one fourth x1 dot square plus half uh, k into x1 plus uh, so x2 will be x1 by 2 so that a square so therefore this energy will be equal to uh, half plus 1 fourth means 3 fourth 3 fourth m times x1 dot square plus uh, I think in spring there will be two springs right so uh, see x1 plus x2 is extension of one see if I take the springs for this spring the compression is x1 plus x2 and for this spring the extension is x1 plus x2 so it, so it's uh, so I, I had to multiply two here. I had to multiply two here. Okay. By the way, 
so it is 3 fourth m x1 dot square plus uh, k times uh, this becomes oh, 4 right and this becomes uh, 3x1 square so 9 uh, times x1 square okay so now we can differentiate this side to 0 differentiate with respect to time so you get 3 fourth m uh, then uh, 2x1 dot then x1 double dot plus 9k by 4 into 2x1 times x1 dot is equal to 0 okay 0 I have written uh, layer also this okay so uh, so what do so what was the relation between b and this okay previous page let me see yeah it's given uh, that k equal to 2 mg by b k is equal to 2 mg by b right so you can substitute here only k is 2 mg by b here into 2 mg divided by b so this 2 2 4 this cancels okay one more one more step it deserves one more step to be written okay so this x1 dot will cancel x1 dot will cancel so there you get 3 by 2 m x1 double dot plus this 2 2 this cancels so the plus 9 uh, 9 mg by b into x1 that's equal to 0 so so you have x1 double dot is equal to minus of 3 3 g by no it will be 6 g i think eh? minus of just a minute uh, minus of 6 g by b times x1 so that means the angular speed uh, sorry the angular frequencies uh, root over of 6g by b and I think that so 2 pi root b by 6g okay so that is the angular frequency so inverse of this is time period so it is 2 pi root over of b divided by 6g